The LC300's younger sibling, the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado, is anticipated to spearhead the family's transition to hybrid technology when the new generation of Toyota Land Cruiser Prado is unveiled in the coming months. According to reports from Japanese media, the new Land Cruiser Prado will be unveiled in the middle of 2023. Albeit, it is yet unknown what engine Toyota plans to use to power the massive SUV. Now before we continue, if you're new to the channel, welcome! This is Cars in Reach, and if you've not already taken the action, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and let's get you going with some of the best car content you can think of. Now, let's head back to what we have for you today. After learning from Toyota insiders that the 70 series would serve as inspiration for the new Prado, mainly in the form of rounder headlights within its light clusters, the Japanese magazine Best Car prepared a new render to demonstrate what it anticipates the new Prado to look like. According to Best Car's informed guests, the Land Cruiser 300 appears to be the source for the majority of the remaining changes anticipated for the next Prado, while traditional Prado features like the vertical grille arrangement are very likely to remain, yet when it comes to the mechanicals, it's unclear what options Australia will have once the new Prado arrives. The Toyota Hybrid Max powertrain, which debuted on the Toyota Crown that is offered in other markets outside of Australia, employs a turbocharged 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder petrol engine and a rear-axle-mounted electric motor, and it is anticipated that the Prado will eventually switch to hybrid power. Given the company's commitment to continuing to use diesel engines in the LC300 and the soon-to-be-updated 70 series, it's uncertain if that drivetrain will be offered on the new Prado from the start. According to many sources, by the end of the decade, every model in the Toyota lineup, except for the brand's GR performance models, is anticipated to have undergone a significant move towards electrification. At the beginning of 2023, Toyota Australia's Vice President of Sales and Marketing, Sean Hanley, stated that by 2030, we expect to have an electrified version of every model in our local range, excluding performance cars, and we will continue to evaluate all EVs for this market as they're made available. Hanley specifically mentioned the Prado and other vehicles during a subsequent media presentation in 2022, warning that electrification would likely occur considerably sooner than Toyota's deadline. When we say by 2030, I don't want people to interpret that as 2029 or 2030. On the journey to 2030, we'll start making those arrangements. Acceleration of electrification right now is clear in this market. We're seeing it. And as an agile company, we need to be adaptable to those requirements," Hanley concluded. Let's take a quick look at what's anticipated to be on the upcoming Toyota Prado. When it comes to design, the redesigned Prado will have a lower center of gravity and be lighter and more efficient. All these factors will significantly enhance the overall drive experience. Every kind of off-road capabilities, including locking differentials, low-range gearing, hill descent controls, etc., will undoubtedly be included with the new vehicle. Other sources also make assumptions about a high-performance off-road vehicle that would have additional mechanical improvements. There's no question that the exterior design will include entirely fresh aesthetics. Nonetheless, we do not anticipate any more significant size adjustments. To preserve its great off-roading potential, the Prado should maintain the same wheelbase as the LC300. If you look at the current model's interior, there's nothing to complain about. It may look a little bit old, but the overall build quality is impressive. The materials are nice, but the attention to detail is out of this world. Therefore, the only thing Toyota designers need to do is offer a little bit more modern cabin look. Other than that, things should remain at the same level. Naturally, we also count on new tech features, including an infotainment screen, various connectivity features, etc. There are several interesting modifications suggested for the powertrain. First off, the 2.8-liter four-cylinder, which is now the most popular option, will continue. 
The mild hybrid system might be used in combination with it, though. Additionally, some reports claim that the new 3.3-liter V6 turbo diesel from the LC300 with a maximum output of 227 kilowatts would be made available. In addition, we anticipate more gasoline possibilities. A 2.4-liter turbo four engine with 317 pound-feet of torque and about 275 horsepower should take the place of the massive 4.0-liter V6, a hybrid version of the combined output of about 350 horsepower based on the same engine is also anticipated. Naturally, we also anticipate a new transmission. The new 10-speed automatic transmission will likely take the place of the current six-speed unit. Although the officials are currently keeping quiet, it is anticipated that the 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser Prado will be available by the end of this year. What do you think about the 2024 Toyota Prado? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Also, don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe to the channel, as well as turn on the notification bell button. See you in the next video.